Hey art fans, I've got an early morning art supply unboxing for you. These Jerry's Artarama boxes open funny. You, you pull the whole top off it. But I just got this order in yesterday. I haven't even looked through it all yet. But it's mostly paint. As you can see here, I started doing an acrylic painting. So I needed some more paint for it. And they had some of these um, Soho. Here's the, here's the most not fun one. It's just white. You can see. They, they show through the, the clear container there so you can see the paint in it. And this is one of the big tubes. What is this? Uh, 250 milliliters. Um, and they had a big sale. I've never used this paint before. Soho, um, Soho acrylic paint. And it says it's heavy body too. I have I have some of like my favorite of the heavy body acrylics is Liquitex, and I got a couple of those in there. But I got a bunch of these. Um, I think this one was six fifty, but the smaller ones were only two fifty, as opposed to like the Liquitex ones of the same size are seven fifty. That'll give you an example of how big the sale was <laughs> on this paint and how much cheaper it was. But yeah, the Got a whole bunch of this stuff so I can finish this painting behind me. But I also got a few odds and ends, like um, I got some brushes. And these ones were, uh, let's see, what do we got here? These ones were kind of throw-in brushes, these two right here, which are little tiny artificial sable brushes. These two were, I think they were a uh, $1.75 for two brushes. So they're, they're really cheap ones. Creative Mark. I just threw those in there just to try them out because uh, they were so cheap. But this one right here, let me pull this off. I've never used one of these before. This is a liner brush. This is what you use for pinstriping cars too. And it's got that big long tip and what you do is you saturate that with ink or paint and then you draw it across. You know, you bring it across so it makes a, a, a smooth, even line. Like that, I've never used one of these. Never had a liner brush before for whatever reason. So I'm, I'm interested in trying that one. And what else do we have in here? Here's like, here's one of the things. That, for some reason, some of them are wrapped up with the shrink wrap. So let's cut that off and see which and you'll notice an emphasis on purples and violets here because I completely ran out of purples and violets oh look it's got three tubes three tubes of Soho in this one what do we have brilliant red and the color behind this label here is the the color of it azo red deep you can see the difference in the two different reds and this one is Dioxine Violet Hue. And when you see hue after it, that means it's not the full strength pigment and it's cheaper than the full strength pigment. Like for example, like one of the more expensive ones is I think uh, Cerulean Blue. And a Cerulean Blue Hue you might be able to get for 250, but a Cerulean Blue will be 10 bucks, if not more. Um, so there's the first three of those. Let's move this one over there too. There's our white. Ah, and here is a cad red medium. Once again, a hue. That's once again. That's one of the reasons these were cheap. Is if it's a hue, it doesn't have as much pigment in it, which isn't necessarily bad. Uh, if you want it, you know, it depends on what color you want. I like to use my paints straight out of the tube, and not mix them a ton. Uh, but I do mix them. So sometimes it, uh, it, if you want a sort of a less, a less strength red, you use a hue. And here is brilliant purple. This is the, this is the expensive stuff. This one was seven fifty for the tube. Let's see. These ones don't, don't show through. You have to see the color in there. So that's sort of a light violet, almost a lilac, really good. Good purples are uh, worth their weight. <laughs> um, see, and this, oh, this is a random purple I bought. This is 12 Shades of Grey Acrylic. This, once again, was in the, like, the discount section where you could throw stuff in for a couple bucks. I think this one was, though, 
I guess it, I think this one was two seventy five. So it was a little more expensive than uh, the Soho ones on sale, but still, there's the. Let's see if we can get a little. Uh, whoops, a grayish purple kind of thing. I just threw violet gray. I just threw this one in there just for the heck of it because I was I was looking through the throw stuff in there for a couple of bucks section. Let's see what one is this. I don't know why some of them were wrapped up and some of them weren't, but more colors. Up three more of the Soho ones. Looks like we got our greens here and one blue. What blue is that? Mineral blue. That looks like a dark blue. And we've got cadmium yellow green hue and olive green. Often like a, like a cadmium are the more expensive ones. That's why it's a hue rather than the full one. And olive green, a lot of the like earth colors, the greens and browns are the cheaper paints. So I, I remember having a teacher once uh, say, there's no reason to get name brand browns because they're, they're all the cheapest pigments. They all use the same stuff. So we got those two greens and that mineral blue. Whoops. Dropped my mineral blue. Let's see what else here. I have three more of these things. Oh, we got a couple of I've got a couple of little tubes over the side too. We'll open one of those next. These they must be the Liquitex ones. Clip that shrink wrap. Almost like I open the other end. Oh yeah. Permanent green light as a standard color. That's sort of a, even though it says light, it's kind of a mid-green. Cadmium blue green light hue. That looks like a lighter green. And permanent red. That looks like a dark red. Not a, doesn't look like there's a whole lot of difference between permanent red and azo red deep. Except azo red deep is a little, little, I don't know if it shows up. Azo red deep is a little darker. Let's see, what else do we got here? Let's open up another one of these. more of this so oh, like I said these ones were 250 a tube so that's a good price phthalo blue it's another classic color a deep blue uh, ba -ba, magenta another classic color it's sort of a pinkish red this is really this is really the primary color not red is magenta cadmium orange deep hue once again it's a cadmium so those are the expensive ones so it's a hue not as much pigment in it let's Let's open up one of these and see what's in it. This is, oh yeah, see, this is one of the Liquitexes. Quinaquidrone uh, Violet. Let's open up that and see the, that's a deep purple. Deep. That one's dark. Almost, almost a black. That's, well, not quite. Uh, but it's a dark purple. You really, you really need a dark purple to use that. Let's open. Let's open the last of these. Shrink wrapped. Let's see what our last three Soho. And and you know it said these are heavy body acrylics, which means they're stiff. They've got a lot of uh, binder in them. Raw umber. It's one of the browns that there's no reason to buy the expensive version of. But I don't. It doesn't say heavy body anywhere on the. Because uh, if if you notice, these ones actually say. Liquitex heavy body acrylic up there. That means they're. Um, they're more like you know hard butter than soft butter, but not not quite hard. There's there's more body to them. They. Um, when you use them, you can make more textural stuff with the heavy body acrylics. They, they're, they're less liquidy. All right, so the burnt, the raw umber, here's cadmium yellow, deep hue. Once again, one of the reasons you can tell it's a cheaper brand of paint is they don't even, they, they have all hues. That's how they keep the price down. Cadmium orange hue. I already have some cadmium orange and I already have some cadmium yellow uh, in, the, in the Liquitex. That's why I got the hues in the cheap brand. Let's see, what else do we have here? We have two more things. Let's go with this super light one. I think this is another add-on. 
Oh, there we go. These are two extra soft fine pastel white. These these fine pastels I use in my Monsters on Comics drawings. Uh, let me see if I can pull one off the shelf. Where are they? There we go. Jumped up. These right here. Oh, these aren't the monsters. These are the, the the white on these is a white pastel. It's a black marker and a white pastel. And this is when I. Uh, oh, there's a Batman. Look at that. A weirdo Batman. The, the, um, this is one I draw on an old co torn comic book page. So I use those white pastels so that I saw them there. I saw, you know, two white pastels for dirt cheap. Where did I just put them? I don't even know. Um, so that I grabbed them. Oh, there they are. We'll keep them. In. Pastels are very delicate. I'll keep them in their bubble wrap for now since I don't need them at the moment. I just threw those, I already have some that I've been using, uh, and so I don't need new ones, but they were cheap, so I got them. And then the last thing, let's see, light blue violet. This is another replacement one. My tube of light blue violet is running out, and these are um, 59 milliliter tubes. So these ones are even bigger. Let me see, what are these? These are... 75 milliliter tubes so this tube was 250 and this tube was 750 so that'll tell you the difference in the the quality of the paint usually too so we'll we'll see how those ones are but there's that's another very light lilac-y violet pretty cool I, I like it. these are some of my favorite paints these liquitex heavy body acrylics all righty i think i'm empty box has just got paper in it now <laughs> so there you go can't wait to try out one of these liner brushes and see what I can do with it oops I pulled the, the I pulled the protective plastic off but that that as soon as soon as you get them home and that pl protective plastic comes off and never goes on again uh, but all right hope you enjoyed that uh, art supply unboxing and you guys have a good day